like it's 1994. The Ursuline Irish are back in the state final four picture. Head coach Keith Gunther following the win. Coach, let's just start off. Put into words what this means to you. I know a long journey for you, and you, you talk about it being a dream. Uh, you're on the doorstep of accomplishing it, but but you're right there. Yeah. Uh, when I first took over the program, that, that was my ultimate goal was to win a state title. And the ups and downs of 21 years, so many times you question yourself, you know, am I the guy for the job? You know, when you have a good season and all of a sudden you have two or three bad ones, or you have seven, like, like we didn't have. You know, people don't realize there was at one point we won four districts in a row and we couldn't get down. I felt like the teams we were facing, they were just better than us. It's not like we weren't. We were underachieving. And, you know, sometimes, you know, if you really, really are passionate about your dreams, it's never going to happen overnight. The one thing I'm enjoying and that I'm, as I look back on it, the journey is just as good as the, you know, the prize today. All the kids that have played for me, all the kids that have been through the program, it's not just about the guys now. It's the guys in the past who I thought would get there. So this just doesn't go out to this team here. It goes out to the alumni and all the guys that have played for me in the past. Let's talk about this game and just preparation for Canfield. I mean, obviously a tough team. Two 23-win teams that were meeting on the floor. You met them earlier this season, a 10-point win for you, but it's always kind of tough to do the same thing again. What was the preparation like for this Cardinal team? We were, I looked at our film when we played them the first game, and I thought we were off the defense. Uh, we let Cruz just get open shots and killed us. They killed us from the three line. Uh, what we wanted to do is we wanted to take away the three line, get the kids off the block, try and make them try, try and make them take tough shots. I thought the defensive effort is the reason we won the game. Uh, our game plan that we put together was just getting through all the screens, not let them get open threes. The game plan worked to perfection. Being able to close out games, too, is what separates great teams from good teams. What was the halftime speech in the locker room? You guys are up 16. What was it trying to just get them to the, the final 16 minutes? I probably panicked a little bit early. I told our kids if we got up 20, we were going to pull it off. And My fear was if they got up on us, they would take the air out of the game, and they're really good at that. So I tried to steal their game plan. <laughs> you know, we got up, and I'm thinking, I told our staff, we get up 20, let's take the air out of the game a little bit. Yeah, I think I, I think I did a little bit too premature. We got a little stagnant, so I just told our guys just start going, just start running and playing, and we were able to keep scoring, getting up. Now they're running and trapping you because they're trying to get back in the game. We got the ball to the high low, got some layups. Um, Miles Miller played big for us, hit some big shots. Jay hit some huge shots in the first quarter. Payne was Payne. Lucini played great. Um, Noah Bell, got Jared Clinton gave a great spark coming off the bench. I thought Miles coming off the bench was was one of the keys. Talk but, go ahead. You talk about the big names and the contributors in yeah. this one too. And when you talk about how many guys deep that you had on the bench that were contributing too, just talk to me about how that depth has kind of come to fruition over the course of the season of where you could count on oh, eight, man. nine, ten guys deep on this bench. And that's what it's been. You know, we we played these eight guys all year long. And it took a little bit of time for the for Miles and Jared to kind of catch on to what we wanted to do. And Chase, Chase was catching on because Chase has been around me. But those three guys followed our game plan, started to understand how, what we needed them to do. Uh, My, Miles, 6'5 kid that can shoot the lights out. He can get to the basket. Jared can shoot the lights out. Ricardo is a 6'6 freshman who's really a guard. So the three guys coming off the bench a major reason why we are where we are. You know, we never want to talk about... See the, the, so at, at, at end of every year, I never, ever, ever get personal awards because I feel like every kid on your team is MVP. And that's what I think about the eight guys that play for us. The other thing I'll say, those guys that are sitting on the bench that didn't play were our scout team this week. They were kicking our behind in practice as a scout team. And they prepared us for tonight's win. So it's a total 15-guy effort. Obviously, the journey means so much. You gave it all back to the alumni along the, the way. But does this mean a little bit more? Does this journey mean a little bit more, having having Jalen be a part of it? I'd be lying to you if I said it didn't. You know, when I got my son out there and I get to look at him, I get to watch him, 
I'm, I'm amazed sometimes at how he plays. You know, he's got no conscience. He don't care. He doesn't get nervous. Um, to, say I'm, to say I'm excited, that would be that's a total understatement. My son's first year, he gets to go to state. Um, that, that's a journey and a dream I've dreamt about since Jay was born. A lot of people won't believe this. When that kid was born, I knew he was going to be something special. Uh, not just as a basketball player, but an individual. It's, God, it's just God's plan. And it's God's plan for us to be together out here and do what we're doing. One thing I want to tell everybody, you know, this is exciting. After tonight, I'll give them the day off tomorrow. On Monday, we're going to try and win a state title. We're all back to business. Enjoy it for right now, Coach. Good luck on the roads at Dayton. We're rooting for you every step of the way. Thank you, sir.